Okay, if you are getting this video, link is because we have dropped off your bag. Your bag will be either blue or black. Should have your name on it as well. Getting inside the bag, I've already kind of dumped it out. You will see a couple different bags in there. But everything will be inside one big, large gallon Ziploc bag. Hold on to that. It works great as a waterproof tool when you're around about the islands. Alright, first thing that bag will go through real quick is the emergency or the first aid bag, whatever you want to call it. In the bag, get over it. In the bag, you will see gum. Your gum should not be this mangled. Charlie got a hold of Thomas's and, well, Charlie do what Charlie do. My baby girl? Exactly. Alright, so then we also have tissues. We have Pepsi Complete for when the food gets to be too much. We have Advil for obviously for pain relief. And there's some Benadryl packets in there for sinus and allergy relief. There we go. There's a couple motion sick patches in there. There's also a sleeping mask. There is a I don't want to get your germs mask. And there is also the sunscreen. Now the one thing about the sunscreen, if you are going to put this in your carry-on for the plane, the sunscreen will have to go into a separate clear container TSA rules. All right, next bag. Oh, sorry. One thing, there's also a first aid portable pack in there. It's good to have it like a backpack when we go to the islands. All right, let me check the next bag. All right, next bag is kind of a, I guess want to say, a, I don't know, like a, hey, Jen, what would you call the bag with the little hand towel in it? Um, may need it bag? <sighs> the may need it bag. Okay. So real quick, bathroom bag? bathroom bag, there we go. So Jim put in the bag some Q-tips, a sew kit for when the button eventually falls off. This right here, if you can see it, it's over here. This is a washcloth. Do not try and eat this, it could be very bad for you. Washcloth, a little mini one, pretty darn cool. There's a little wisp toothbrush, and there are some dental picks, obviously. And there's also a single-use hand sanitizer. It's good to have. You want to bring to the island just in case. And there are some earplugs in case your room happens to be near mine because I snore. Okay, next bag up is... This is kind of a little, almost like a utility bag. Let me untie it and we'll dump it out. Okay, in the utility bag, Jen has curated for you. There is an adapter plug. Let's start with that first. Now, on the boat, when you get into the room, you will see there are some American plugs, but you'll also see one that has just the two little holes in it. So you plug this adapter in, it gives you another option for plugging stuff in, obviously. These right here are magnetic hooks. The walls in the cabin, they are magnetic. These hooks are pretty good to hang stuff on. Lanyards, shirts, I hang my hats on it. And then there's a small little button one. We use this to hang like... um. Like the daily sheet of what's going on, on the cruise boat if you get one of those stuff coming on all right there's also a lanyard in here with a little uh little pull tie so if you want to put your cruise what's it called your cruise card would open your door on your lanyard it makes it easy to badge it and out and not lose your badge there should also be in your bag a phone adapter we found out from everybody what phone you have so your phone adapter should match the kind of phone you have just in case you need an extra one you never know when one might go bad or forget one. And last but not least, this right here is a pretty cool gadget. I'm going to try and open it with one hand. But it looks like this. Alright, and if you simply pop it open, boop, like this, it becomes a little nightlight, which is pretty cool. This little thing can light the heck out of a cabin because they are very dark once everything is pulled. Okay, next you will see a bag with some ducks in it. Just a quick explanation. Let me dump it out and I'll show you. Okay, once you open the bag, you'll have little ducks inside. Your ducks will probably be different. So what it is, is if you look online, if you want, there's a thing called cruising ducks. People from all over the world, all over the country, they basically buy little ducks and they hide them all over the boat. Um, you're not allowed to hide them in like restaurants. You need to hide them in public spaces where everybody can get to and they can't be in water. That way you're not trying to drown getting a duck. Anyway, hide them in the boat when you're on the boat. Look for them as well. It's a pretty fun game. So you have the ducks. Around you have a rubber band to attach the cards for the ducks. 
And that's also a pen, so you can write like your name on there. You can write first and last name if you want. You can write just your first name. Uh, most people put where they're from, so you'd put like Jim from Virginia Beach. It's cool to find ones from people all over the country, even all over the world. Also, Jim put in their post-it pad in case you want to leave notes on other people's doors. And a Sharpie, <coughs> which should work on all these things. Okay, just a quick thing. Jen said you can hide the ducks in restaurants, but you can't hide them in stores. I would advise you just go online and look. Um, it's kind of cool. If you go on Facebook, type in cruising ducks, you'll see on there people do. It's, it's, a, it's a huge thing. You'll see people on the boat with ducks. Trust me. Okay, in everybody's bag, there will be one of these. I'm not sure if they're all the same color. Are they all the same color? Okay, they're all different colors. This is a pretty cool bag. Jen has told me I can open it. So, oh, try to do this with one hand. Not going to happen. Hold on. Okay, so it packs up pretty tight. I had to get it started. You hear Charlie in the background. Ah. All right, pause again. Once you do manage to pop it out, you see it unfolds unfolds and it ends up being a pretty useful bag to put stuff in carry around the islands whatever you might want to do expands pretty big and charlie's gonna see if there's something inside of it but anyway that's one of the bags it's in there open it up explore and then it all tucks back into its little pouch when you are wanting to put it away hey you ruined my film homegirl okay so last but not least, in each one of the main bags, well, each room will have one of these. It'll look like this, like this. Go ahead, cha-cha, go ahead and eat that. When it is plugged in, it looks like this. Okay. So, when, when you get it, and Charlie will help you program it apparently, but when you get it, get, thank you. On the side, there are two USBs. So you can put your phone chargers in there. It does light up on the side. There is an adjustment for making it less bright so that it doesn't blind you. Pretty cool to use the nightlight in your room. And it's very lightweight and pack away. Anyway, each room will be getting one of these. There you go. Okay, and last but not least, we didn't include one thing. There is in the ladies packs, you will see there are bags in there with specific things for the ladies, such as earring backing, some feminine things, some hair pins, hair by pins. Anyway, little things in there. You'll see them. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to contact me or Jen.